This is a really lovely garden and, of course, we're doing our best to wreck it. Uh, we've got a trench in here and that's an 18th or 19th century cobbled farmyard surface. We've got another trench just around here and can... Oh, hang on one minute. Just turn around here and you can see <laughs> our family having a cup of tea. But anyway, we've got our farmyard cobbled surface still in this trench and here cobbled surface again. As usual, Phil's working incredibly hard for the cause. But is he wasting his time? Stuart's got some news for us. Whatever you're going to say to us, Stuart, you better say it soon, as you're going to get buried, I think, with the way Phil's going at it there. Am I right in understanding that you put this trench in on the basis of a, of a deed? Yeah. That, uh, supposed little map with, uh, in the deeds, yeah. yeah. supposed to show where the site of the that, King's that Chapel one, is. That yeah. one, yeah. This deed showing the site of King's Chapel and the little building there is actually a straight copy of the 1922 map over here, we see a little right. building. And in fact, the antiquity sign is in the wrong place. That's right, it's in the plot next door. In the, over in the lumber yard oh, over there. Truth. Hold on, so where it says here, site of King's Chapel, and we've dug in this one. Yeah, but it's, it's referring, actually referring to it's this referring cross. It's referring to yeah. that cross. And that's the cross that's in, puts and in that, the lumber they yard. They didn't put the cross <laughs> on there, look. Phil, <laughs> you're digging in the wrong garden. <laughs> Mick misinterpreted the map. Hey, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> Several people misinterpreted the map. No, oh, hang on, um, hang on, hang on. He's going to start chucking stuff. Why am I in the wrong garden? <laughs> because the big X that says site of the chapel is actually next door. Over there. All it's, right. It's only the writing that's across this garden. <laughs> well, I'm still not going to leave this one until we resolve what's here. Quite right. Thank you. Quite right. But don't hold your breath, I think, is the answer. <laughs> Phil's absolutely right. We have to finish these trenches. The map on the deeds may be wrong, but we don't know for sure that the chapel isn't in this garden. Not only that, but there could be Saxon material to find here that's much deeper down. There are local historians who've pointed to... I'd love place. to find some Saxon pottery for the villagers, at least. And I've heard that this car park might be the place to look because there are written accounts that say this was the site of the Saxon palace. Is this the kind of place where they might have built a palace? Well, yes, because it's well sited at the top of a hill, and without the buildings here, you'd have a very commanding view of the surrounding valleys, and you can see people approaching its important crossing point. And we've got a very good Anglo-Saxon place name here. Well, Islip? Yes, it's, it comes from the Old English Yxlepa, meaning the slipway or the slope by the river, the old river name. There's no doubting Islip was a Saxon settlement, and this could be the place to dig in search of the palace tomorrow. But now, as we approach the end of the day, there's bad news about our trench here in the woodyard. It's turned up nothing but natural geology. There's no sign of the chapel. Come on, you want to see this? But there is still hope, because Stuart's been studying the maps and has a new theory that we might find evidence of the chapel in this garden. We know it was a, a detached building from the sketch. Mm -hmm. It was oriented east-west. It says that on the sketch yeah, as well. and it was yeah. about 15 yards by seven, so we know that much. Yeah. And we know from the references it was likely to be standing in... Uh, 1805, a barn standing on the side of the chapel is definitely there in 1805. Oh. Now, this map here is 1806, so... So it should be on this map, really. Yeah, yeah, and actually, that, yeah. when you look at the map closely, there are two detached buildings yeah. East, oriented east-west. Right. So, so it's one it of those. could be one of those two. Yeah. Now, right. one is very close to the church, but it's too small when you when you measure it. There's another one which is the right size, and that's in this garden ah. here. Ah. So logic-wise, <laughs> we should, if we can, examine both those. But this one looks the better candidate on its side. Well, the way things are going, I reckon we should dig both sites. The trouble is, this building is buried under the extension to the graveyard. But we might still be able to get permission to dig there with help from local contacts. Joanna, did you manage to speak to your old man? Yes, I think what we need is an archdeacon's licence rather than we don't have to wait for a faculty because that would take too long. But the office doesn't open until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, so as soon as the office opens, we'll get onto the archdeacon's office. Thanks very right. much. That's very yeah, good news. Crossed. So, is the chapel in Joanna's house? Is it next door? Is it under the churchyard? We'll find out tomorrow. 
Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews, 3D models and masterclasses, plus lots more.